Hey guys, what's up? I'm Pal, QA I'm manager Martin, here. Concept artist at Penny Pop. Thank Welcome you guys for to us. BC Livestream. Today we're gonna do a, a recap of the event that just came up. And we have a special guest today. It's gonna be Bush Hog. Bush Hog, say hi. Hi guys, what's going on? Bush Hog here with a new great battle camp video. Nice. You wanna give a shout out to your troop? Um, well, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I just joined this group. I don't even know if the name was called. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. They're just piggybacking on you. That's yeah, I mean, you're just carrying. You're just carrying, uh, you know. It's Abusement Park. The Abusement Park. Uh, Formerly Fight Club, I believe. Oh, okay. the abusement kind of park. Clever, yeah, yeah, that is like that it. is that is a Fight Club abusement park. That's a that's a good. What well, well, our writer when he first started, he created a troop, and his troop name was Missouri Loves Company. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about the puns, yeah, and you man. couldn't tell by the monsters. Yeah, Missouri <laughs> Loves Company. Yeah. Uh, so today's live stream. If you guys have 300 shares, we're gonna give you uh, we're gonna give you guys. 20 energy. I'm sorry, not 20 energy. It's 20 gold. <laughs> sorry, 20 gold is much better than 20 energy. So make sure you sh make sure you guys share this show. And I want to remind you guys, the thousand share challenge is still on. You guys want you guys want to watch me shave my head on live stream? On camera. We gotta get to a thousand yeah, shares. We gotta, we gotta get to a thousand shares. So tell your mom to share. Tell your brother to share. Tell your friends to share. Okay? I'll shave my head here. Otherwise, I'm cutting my hair this weekend, yeah. and I'm still taking suggestions. So. Yeah. So yeah, remember. Even send a picture on the comments to see what oh, yeah. kind of, you know, haircuts you want Pow to have. I'm thinking more of a Don Draper, you know. I'm I'm a little old now, so I gotta be a little bit more, you know, professional, I guess. <laughs> with my clear, with my banana not. shirt, you know. Clearly, clearly <laughs> okay, Bushhog, so why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Alright, so uh, my name is Bushhog in game. Uh, real life name Brett. I've been playing Battle Camp for about two and a half years, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure the game went, the game came out like what three years ago, maybe. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it went it went live like yeah. Are you uh, on iOS or Android? Uh, I started out on iOS and then moved to Korea and had to switch over to Android because Korea is like owned by Samsung. So, yeah, I played on Galaxy for a year in Korea and then came back to the U.S. and I'm back on my iPhone, so... Oh, uh, you've seen the light. I'm an American came serviceman. Back. All right. Shout out to all you guys who are in the American military, okay? Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines. I was a Marine, you know. Shout out to you guys. You guys are great. You guys the are doing a good job. The reason why he said that is because Bushhog is currently serving right now, so... Oh, yeah. Bush thank Hog you is, Thank you, Bushhog. Yeah. You make America safer. We safer. really appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> so... Moving on, Pal, you wanna talk about what we're doing today? Yeah, so today we're gonna recap on the event. We're gonna take a look at the leaderboards, okay? We're gonna see, um, you know, we're gonna take a look at the leaderboards from Monday and then Tuesday and then Wednesday, you know, today. Uh, and we're gonna see how the leaderboard changed, you know? Um, so, I mean, we'll uh, go over it later, but then you'll notice that uh, Yummy Boy here was in first place on Monday with, uh, what is that? That is 176 million trophies. Woo! That's crazy, man. That's a huge crazy. number of trophies. Really close behind, though, is Sarka77340. I'm actually kind of surprised not to see your name up here, Bushhog. But, uh, yeah, 163 million. 163 million trophies. Yeah, second. Know. You know, that's a lot of trophies, guys. Good job on this. I think that's more trophies than I got when I did the 10 day raid event, so. Yeah. That's, wow. Man, that's nice. Really that's saying something. This, wow, this guy's yeah, one of our heaviest yeah, hitters. Yeah, you, you know, I was yeah. here on the very, very first event, and like, troops weren't breaking the million. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow, the times have changed, you know? I feel old, like a turtle. <laughs> well, you are old, pal. That's probably old. And then, uh, so here, look here on Tuesday, Yummy Boy went to uh, 260 million trophies. Holy moly, again. Uh, Mouth the Hammer, he he came up and just stole the show. Right? Yeah, totally stole that. Yeah, he's like he's like catching right up. from under Sarka. Yeah, he's like only like 15 million away from Yummy Boy, and you know Sarka is still sitting there. Yeah. So I don't know what just happened there, but there was like a, a big momentous change. His yeah, names this... really make me wonder where these people are from. You know. Yeah. Well, obviously <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah, why don't you tell us where you guys are from? Because you if, guys have if like... If you guys are watching right now, why don't you... Uh, top yeah. three here, why don't you tell us where you're from? Where you guys are playing Battle Camp from? And how the heck did you get your name? Because those are pretty... <laughs> Interesting. 
interesting. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to say that Sarka is a pretty sarcastic guy. Or yeah, oh, he's obviously a sarcasm. Clearly, thing. Yummy Boy tastes yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yummy, <laughs> yummy Boy must be made out of marshmallows. <laughs> or something. Marshmallows are yummy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of, we're going to have a Chubby Bunny contest later on. Pau's so, going to stuff his mouth with marshmallows, and then he's going to say uh, a, a little sentence. A little phrase, and if yeah. someone can guess it, the prize is one reroll. One reroll. Oh, so man. For whoever I can guess this sentence, Pa is trying to say with his mouth full of I wish I had a clone because I would tell my clone to, to use Colin for me because I love rerolls. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, just, I just love to gamble on the skills, even if I have a perfect skill. Pa loves uh, the rerolls. Uh, okay. Yeah, so and then on the final leaderboard, you see Yummy Boy stays at 262 million. Mahutamar is at 250 million. So from day one, from Monday to Tuesday, man, Mahutamar just upset Sarka. Crazy, Sorry, Sarka. yeah, man, that's like, like almost 75 like million trophies. Trailing right behind oh, Yummy man. Boy too. So to get 75 million trophies, you'd have to get what is that in damage? You know, you know, Bush Hog off the top of your head. So to get 75 million trophies, you'd have off to have. Off the top of my head. Yeah, must multiply that by a thousand. Six zeros to the end of it. <laughs> that's so many hits. Dang! That's Man, crazy. That's, that's guys, that's what we call dedication. That, that is that, that is that's crazy. Raw power. Uh so you know, we have brand new reward mobs, so Yummy Boy, okay. Obviously Yummy Boy won the legendaries. And and the epic. So, oh yeah, and the epics. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a little look at the at the rewards here, the epic and ultra rewards. So the first one up is the Thunderling. Oh man, that is one cool monster. I, I like that, but the hammer is a little bit too big for this puny little bird. You know what I think is really cool about this is that they come with a level three passive right off the bat. Oh wow. Yeah, three yeah. stars on that level of that passive. Do you remember what the passives were for this event? It was uh, the reward passive. I, uh, I do not. Doesn't it change? It's yeah, no, it changes like every. Yeah, it cha changes yeah. every. You know, it changes every event. You know, um, but I always is always a top tier. It's always a top tier skill. I haven't been in QA for a while, and I'm never gonna get, get top prize. So, <laughs> so I don't even bother. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> I just I, I just that. run around the game and look at other people's monsters, trying to find the ones I make. Do you do we have a do we have a slide of like the evolved version of this thunderling because the, the evolved version of this thunderling is beast now that I mean this little this little monster here it evolves into the most beautiful swan I've ever seen with a freak with a freaking mallet it actually looks a lot like the boss so so the idea behind like the the, the tower reward monsters is that at least the epic or the legendary usually look a lot like the boss so it's like a little spawn of the boss. That's the that's, that's the whole idea. So it's if like, you guys played the event, the evolution to this guy looks a lot like the boss that you guys just played against. What Martina is trying to say in a PG-13 way is you killed this monster's mom, you stole the egg, and you raised it as your own. As your own. As your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Deep, See, deep I mean, analogy, I, I knew analogy. a fair a fellow serviceman would knew that. Okay. What do you, uh, Bushaw? Let me ask you this: What do you think of this mob? What do you think? I are think the... this mob looks awesome. I like. I think that the wind monsters in the game are some of the better looking monsters. The uh, the, was it the cotton? The cotton mob? The the one of the previous celestial towers um, bosses. That was a really cool monster. Yeah. And uh, like you guys were saying, it is really close. Like to beat like the one the boss that you're fighting is almost identical to the uh, event reward. So yeah, yeah. That's so, that's like, probably why. Uh, that yeah, the towers is one of my favorite events. Also, Pal's favorite monster is the uh, Skyrim. Yeah, my favorite monster is the Skyrim. Yeah, I mean, also like, you know, obviously yeah. that's like the first, the the version one uh, epics, you know. And uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm an old timer, you know. I, I like, I like he those does, classic cars, does. you know. I just, All right, I just so, like so just a reminder here, guys. Uh, if we get 300 shares on this video, you guys get 20 free gold, and then the code will be available after the show. So this is important, right? Like, we get a lot of comments, always asking for codes, codes, codes. Uh, so that's like, you know, a lot of like buffer that we don't really need in the comments because we're telling you right now that it's going to be after the show. So please uh, just wait for it patiently. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you want to talk about the uh, the Event Ultra? Yeah, let's, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so the Event Ultra is the Octoprow. Okay? Yeah, and this guy's a fire. Oh, fire what? Guy. I would yeah, say, I would say you know, cool. fire is probably my favorite element, just because red is my favorite color, and I've seen a lot of really, really cool monsters there too. 
So I don't know. But, I'm, I'm, but I'm no, but red is weak against blue. So I mean, like you know, you have that triangle of weakness. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, like um, I don't know, like but I think like fire monsters are probably the most like uh, the most favorite monsters in the entire game. I think we have. I think people want more fire monsters than they want any other monster. So, but I, I don't personally think that. So what I think you're saying is that you you don't really like to mess around with the green, the blue, and the red. No, because why? Too why? Many weaknesses. Yeah, why would you mess with something that has a natural flaw? You know, okay, like there are certain things that you just you just can't go around. You know, I like yeah. I like wind monsters because the only thing that it's weak against is wind monsters. No, you mean earth? No, earth mon. Earth. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what do you think, Bushok? Who's you think, right here? What, what are you playing, Bushok? I started out with a fire team, uh, full snipe, and I was I was really liking it a lot. Where my very first monster was a slow burner that I rolled in the ultimate grab, and then uh, later on I realized that snipe bruiser wasn't really that great of a uh, of a <laughs> monster. So I built my fire team with red capers, lion chings, uh, all these super strong fire monsters and then I realized like hey all the top players are going rock and win because they don't have any uh any elements that counters them other than themselves yeah thank so, you uh, I ended up I ended up feeding that team starting a rock team so I definitely want to say rock and win are, are the uh so the so do you rock mono teams I think mono teams are the way to go by the way yeah I don't know but I, I... yeah mono, mono teams for damage-wise, I think are the way to go. Fair. What do you, What are your favorite abilities to go with this team? So obviously, a swap is absolutely necessary here. Or a double swap, uh, yeah, I, I do, see. I just oh, yeah. use one e swap because I I built my rock team to be a PVP team. And I wanted to keep those hearts, so I didn't put a heart swap on. So uh, my favorite abilities for sure is uh, lacerate. Like for celestial powers, lacerate's great. Um, most of the events on Battle Camp, you're gonna want like snipe or uh, quick strike or wind bane or fire bane all those different uh bane actives mm -hmm. because like i said most of the most of the bosses are single boss or tbt so for most events you would want do you do you like like uh, abilities that do damage over time for example like uh like, like a poison or something like or like a venom there's one that causes bleeding right lacerate yeah. lacerate venom, yeah. They don't ignore the defensive abilities, so that definitely comes in handy against uh, certain bosses that put up a shield or uh, invincible and stuff like that. But I don't really mess with them just because I, I've never really experimented with it. I've mostly tried to stick to the actives that were the strongest. But I know that quite a few top players do have like a Venom in their uh, on their main team, so it huh, can what? come in handy. What would you say of like uh, a lacerate or sacrifice, for example? Like they do massive damage at the exchange of uh, uh, like health. Uh, lacerate, like so, that's my whole team is lacerate and one e swap. So lacerate's definitely good. Sacrifice is really good, um, except it do it only activates like maybe once or twice in that sixty seconds you have. Um, it does a lot of damage, but it's definitely not. It's more of a PvP based monster, but it's definitely abused in PvP. People put like one one sacrifice and four barriers and it just kind of exploits the PvP system, but hmm. it's uh. definitely a very powerful active. Well, because barriers Thanks, give you I'll extra health, that. right? Like 20% no, no. health? Yeah, the barrier gives you a little bit more health, plus yeah. the barrier also gives you added defense. So yes, that, that would be a pain to get around. And, you know, yeah. and then I guess they would, what they would do is they'll just like spam move it so that all they do is just cast actives and not really do any gem matching. I mean, right? that is part of the strategy though. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. You know, I'm all about fair play yeah, and, and gotta play to yeah. strength. So. Well, I mean, if the developers allow it, then it's not an exploit or a hack, right? I mean, that's that's what it is. But well, yeah, they're I didn't true. mean like I didn't mean exploit like that. I just meant like you know, it it is definitely a, a overpowered team if you have that full barrier team. But it's definitely, it's definitely a strong PvP team, just some people get a little upset when they go against it. Let me ask you this, how would you go about countering that kind of team? Ooh, that's a good question. Definitely to counter that kind of team, you would want to do as many strong, uh, as many strong combos and attacks before their barrier activates. Or, if you know, because the monsters in the game they, uh, you'll know what active or passive that has based on the monster for uh, what was released if you play it enough. 
Right. So you'll know that like uh, like a, a side bug might have sacrifice. So you might want to straight attack the side bug first before the uh, the barriers go off. Uh, Actually, that's a, yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, that's a great a good strategy. Target or target like the yeah, the biggest threat first. Or target its healers, yeah. right? Yeah, that's for those of you guys that don't know how to target. All you have to do is tap on the monster, the enemy monster that you want to that you want to attack with next, all yeah. your team, and then all your monsters will hit that that monster. Yeah, the skills will also yeah. do the same thing too. Yeah. So like, you know, if you're in that desperate need and you're like, man, I really need to take out that healer, I really need to take out that sacrifice, you know, um, do what Bushhog does, target that mob and yeah. kill it. So if you just started and want to know what targeting is, all you have to do is tap on the monster you tap. actually want to attack. Yeah, just tap on the thing yeah. that you want to kill. Just Easy peasy. Pro tips. <laughs> uh, let, let's also, uh. Go ahead, go ahead, Bush. Right. Also, another thing is uh, when you're PvPing people, usually if you play that guy and he's using the barriers and the sacrifices, after he beats you, if you go back into PvP, he'll probably be playing against you again, so you'll know exactly what monster to attack. Also, oh, true. That, yeah. that especially that if you're true, jumping yeah. on a log, you know. Yeah, especially yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, you know, the thing is that I went to PvP and like, uh, you know, and PvP is my one of my favorite things because like I am really into uh, I'm, I like I like I like PvP. I mean, I like shooters, you know, and like I really love fair competition. And but man, I went to PvP the other day and like it was so empty. I'm trying to bring it back. I'm trying to bring PvP back. Everyone should play PvP. What's your in-game name, pal? Maybe I just need to see you in there. Oh no, I'm not supposed to tell my in-game name. Of, uh, but you know, he'll, he'll make buy... a fake one and yeah. tell, we'll tell you guys oh, dude, next I, stream. <laughs> my favorite is Cap Commons. Everyone, max level Cap Commons. That now that is true skill right there. That's true skill. Also, yeah, that's all about <laughs> your matching skills. For all you guys who are wondering about the code, don't worry. Share this uh, three hundred times, and you guys will all get twenty gold. So don't worry. Just gold. keep on sharing. Super easy. All yeah. you have to do is share this. Once it hits three hundred, you're good. You got you know twenty gold, but don't stop sharing at three hundred. Keep Vincent, going. we also want a PvP event, okay? So don't worry, you know. We give the people what they want. So just get more people to do it. Let's like sign a petition. Let's get going, okay? Let's get going. Uh, I made but a, uh, quite a few videos on my YouTube and bring PvP back from the dead. Yeah, yeah, dude, post oh, them on BC yeah, Global, bro. You should, you should just link them on BC Global. I'm yeah. sure, dude. Be like, hey, Bush Hog here. Here's some dope PvP. Put it on the put it on the page, you know, and maybe we'll bring it back. Dude, this is your call to fame right now. Yeah, bring people know you back. now. People bring know you back. now. You gotta be the voice of the people. Put up those tutorials. Show people how it's done. All right, Bushhog, are you ready to review some of your videos? Talk some strategy. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. let's start with the first one here. Okay. R Rene Boyd here says hello, Martin and Pal. Hello, Rene. Thank hello, you for joining Rene. us. All right, so let let's see what's going on here. Okay, so you're making some gem matches. Okay, that's light gem matching. Okay, so you're not doing full combos. So I'm starting off trying to uh, get to my E swap. I had a little mistake right there, but uh, that's all right. So just making small combos to get to the E swap, and then once I get to the E swap, I skip it. I skip over it and let the uh, the actives go. And then once the E swap falls in line with my active, I'll go ahead and activate the E swap. That way, it doesn't waste any time making that combo. So. I'll have um, I'll have the large combo with a five gym match, and then after that hits, all my last rates will go off, doing massive damage to the boss. Yeah, and that then, was. Uh, so I, yeah, I noticed that you did that. The boss, I believe that you get um, you get two swaps either way. So if you do it that way, it's a little bit more efficient to get the uh, the maximum amount of uh, swaps and active. So I noticed that the the boss does some pretty big damage to you. Are you not afraid that like maybe the boss might over damage you and kill you before you get that second swap? Uh, no, I'm not too worried about it because uh, from from what I played, it only killed me once, and I realized that. So I try to get uh, when I'm doing the small matches, I just try to make sure I get some small heart matches, and then it it won't kill me. But uh, but it definitely gets close. Yeah, it's a strong boss for sure. Cool. Also want to point out the actual damage dealt here, which is like 66 million, which is a <laughs> 66 pretty insane amount of damage. That's, no, 
my that's my big. my team only does seven million. So like this this yeah. team the Bush Hogs using here. I, I think when I was uh, like a very like you know active player, I I got to like maybe two million on my best hit ever. So this oh, is pretty man, insane. That, that is pretty high. Oh, yeah. You know, and you guys do know, right, that like if you guys do over two billion damage in one hit, you guys actually break uh, break the leaderboard. So you. Know, that's one thing that I want. I like to challenge people to do. Is That's like, a free bug. Yeah, if, if you guys can get it, post you, it. Yeah, if you guys can get that bug, post it on BC uh, BC Global. We we love to see that. We, I'll, I'll, you might even get a price. Who knows? No, I I can't promise anything, but I, I would give it to you. I, I don't know. I would. <laughs> it won't happen anyway. No yeah. one's gonna get that. Nah, two billion. I don't challenge, know. Challenge, guys. Challenge, challenge. Break two billion. Break two billion. Two. Billion. Right, let's go to our next video. Two billion damage, huh? That is insane. If you can't do that with full epic dominion monsters, I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right, so uh, pretty much same strategy for this uh, for these next videos. The uh, the damage that I could that I did sixty six million is only a fraction of what I could have done. I probably could have got eighty or ninety million if, uh, if the boss had more health. Because you'll notice in these videos that I actually kill the two the two outer bosses before my whole turns up so I could get quite a few more hits in with that and then also uh, um, we didn't have like troop leaders ability um, activated like the attack activated or anything like that so oh, that would affect that so would you say that it's a better strategy to go for the minions first and then attack the boss full force or go for the boss first if you really want to maximize your you know your, your points there uh, for me, I, I say try to get five, uh, five gem combos and hit all three of them. Yeah, because that, that, that maximizes your output. That video. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. like that only that one boss was left at 57 million. So uh, if all three of them would have stayed alive longer, then my damage probably would have went up quite a bit. I'm surprised that mm -hmm. they uh, they didn't do waves in here, and then because uh, you know, like with the extra waves, you have extra bosses, so then you can um, you can maximize uh, there's, per wave. There's three. There's three waves in this. It's uh. It's a, multi, a three multi boss. Uh, yeah, two sets of three multi boss, and then a main, the main boss. You can pretty much wipe the first two waves, though, right? I mean, like, because the, the 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 health in the first two waves aren't as high as the last wave. Right. Cool. Yeah, that's that's the problem for for me is that our troop wasn't going so hard that the boss was just like it didn't it didn't ever reach that health limit that it was just unbeatable. Like where it would take an hour or so to actually beat the whole boss. Like we, we didn't do as many bosses to bump the health health up enough. So. And this guy is on extreme, yeah. Uh, yes, he is on extreme. Okay. So, so you're saying that uh, you want us to raise the health in the bosses? Okay, no problem. I'll talk to game design. I'll tell them to make it un unbeatable. Two hours. Make sure it takes two hours. Make to kill se seven, it. Hours, seven hours. Seven, seven hours to kill. Seven. 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 Hours. seven. Okay. No. <laughs> it two hours. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be painful. Thing, you should uh, you should raise the health of the multi bosses and lower the health of the uh, the end boss. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. We'll uh, we'll have to take I a note of that. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Actually, no. That 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 is yeah, good yeah, because yeah, it yeah. does make the overall health of the boss better, bigger, like larger. At the same time, it makes it like it still keeps the time that it takes to beat him down. A little more manageable, I guess. All right, Bob Moore. You said that how many shares would it take for us to get the code? It is three hundred shares. But remember, there's a challenge. If you get us to a thousand shares, I'm gonna shave my head on this stream. Or you could just tell me what kind of haircut I should Powell's gonna weekend. look like me, except he can't grow a beard. But hey, he will be bald. Fury haircut. Well, haircut. Here's, okay, here's what we're gonna do. If you give him a thousand shares, we'll shave his head and use his fallen hair to, to make, make a, a beard doll. out of it. No, we'll make a doll. A doll? That's just uh, yeah, creepy, like a voodoo, that's like a voodoo so doll. Creepy. We'll make like a voodoo doll. I think, and then we'll send it to one of the <laughs> we'll send it to one of the viewers. We'll make <laughs> we'll a voodoo send... doll out of my hair, and we'll send it to one of the viewers here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he just lost everyone. <laughs> but uh, so you say you just joined this new troop. What made you want to switch from your old one? All right. Uh, so the new troop, I was looking for a uh, for ultra tier troop just for this event. If they want to keep me, they can. But I uh, I was just in a real, like a chill, relaxing troop that mostly focuses on Lost Temple, uh, just helping them out uh, in any way that I could. 
they reach uh, Vulture Tier every once in a while, but it's my it's in my wife's troop. It's not her troop, but she's in it, so I just kind of joined her and uh, went along with them. But since I was actually going to try really hard this event, I kind of jumped ship to try to get into an Ultra Tier troop. Oh, nice. That's really cool. So, yeah. I don't know, not really the best thing to do for me, at, you know, troop hopping, but... But you're supporting time. your people, yeah, dude. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with that. You know, the thing is, you know, I used to play for this troop, you know, like back in the days when like everyone was in a top tier troop, you know, and like, people would like go and help like smaller troops to get up to higher tiers. You know, it's about growing the community, you know, about helping people out, you know. Oh man, I remember when we first started uh, Lost Temple, people would just hop troops all the time, and then eventually they just had like the village or whatever or the all-stars or something and like uh, all the top yeah. people in the in the game just got together and started hitting lost, lost temple, temple yeah nobody we, else could be no it. one else could do yeah. it i remember yeah. that i mean maybe you weren't here at that time yeah I'm not yeah, sure. yeah. When, when lost temple just first came out like um like back then it was uh you know there was like the village there was tacos are awesome uh there was like there was some it, apple pie or yeah something. What, what happened to gantz you know gantz yeah. and his troop and yeah. then uh yeah i mean michael chang and his troop right yeah yeah and then they all they all left the big troops and then they joined into one big one yeah. like one top tier like troop with all the best hitters in the Super entire exclusive. game. Yeah. Invite dude. only. Pow barely even I, got dude, in. I, and he was legendary. I, I, I was legendary in the game, you know? And like everyone knew me. All the top people knew me. And it took me two months to get into that troop. There was a waiting line that it took me two months to get into. He cried about it every day. <laughs> yes. My shoulder was just wet. And then when I left my days. when I left my troop to join that troop, I was so happy. <laughs> I ran into I ran into the same thing whenever I went. So I was saving up gold so I could go for a uh, a top three finish and at that at that time high five was the uh was that troop i think it was raid central and then they they changed the name or they all left and switched it over to a high five and that troop would always get first in like every event they got every flag on all the different event locations and then uh i finally was able to get in there because i needed epic crystals back when epic crystals were the uh the main thing for uh for being in the number one troop. Man, so, those things are so I mean, hard to get still. My, uh, yeah, they were hard to get back then. Uh, they're still really hard to get, but uh, well, they were really hard to get back then. <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah man. Dude, I remember. Uh, I, I've still yet to get a second to get Evo. was to join the number one troop for yeah. a couple of events so that you could get a couple of epic crystals. So have you been in a, in a bunch of, uh, like, you know, top tier rank group? Or... Uh, yes, I, I was in High Five for a couple of events. Um, me and Ali Ali were like, we talked back and forth quite a bit. Me and her were real cool together. Um, I was in Natural Order for a while. Uh, Uprising was like the first top 50 troop that I was in, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I was that's back when I was going hard, like every event, uh, finishing like Ultra and Epic. And then, uh, let's see. Before that, uh, RGLP, really good looking people. That was like my first troop. Shout out to them. Um, <laughs> they're still playing too, and that was like two years ago. So oh, yeah, crazy. man. Yeah, that's you crazy. Know, today I was riding in the train to work, and I was thinking about the stream, and I was thinking about talking to you, and I was like, man, what happened to Enzo? You know, what happened to Farah? What happened to like, uh, what happened to Pooh Biscuits, you know, like, what happened to Angela Chang, you know, like, if you guys are still playing the game, or you guys are watching the stream and following us, all of you, all of you legacy players who you, that I used to talk to all the time through via email, you know, uh, man, give us a shout out, give us I, a call, dude. I remember Moopy K was also a huge name. Yeah, Moopy K was a huge name, oh man, yeah. yeah first place on like every event. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so shout out Forever. to all you guys, we want to see you back here with us. Do you guys have any questions for Bushhog while we have him on? Because I mean, like, this guy is here, you guys have some questions for him, ask him some strategies, you know, ask him how to like, weasel his way into top tier troops, I don't know. <laughs> Living legend in the flesh, Yeah, man. Not, not, like, there's not a lot of opportunity, especially, like, you know, in the internet world where you get to, like, I mean, like, you get to make, meet all these friends, you get to meet all these people, you know, and I know, like, there's, like, a bunch of meetups for, like, battle camp troops, and that's, like, great, but how often do you get to, like, to talk to one of the best, you know? So ask your questions, ask them the tips and strategies, and yes, Jackson Bailey, we do remember Stan88, yes, that guy was yeah, a monster. Was, well, he was the first one. 
to like get first place in a couple events. Yo, yeah, yeah Stan yeah, 88 yeah, was a, was a that monster. Guy. Yeah, yeah. He, that guy was a monster. Yeah. Uh, so John Gary has a question for you. He says, "How do you get so much energy for event?" Uh, so for the energy, I've been saving up my energy for a while. Um, I purchased a little bit, but the majority of it is saved energy from uh, codes from the streams. I, I watch all the streams, try to get in the codes for that. Uh, awesome. Codes during events, and then also I save my ultimate grabs, and when, if I get lucky and get on when they're doing the uh, the energy spins, that's a huge, huge amount of energy you can get from uh, saving your ultimate grabs. And don't forget, you can also hit the daily bosses in the camps. Yeah. And they will give you energy as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The daily bosses yeah, will hit, give you I energy. The, yeah. Yeah. Hit the daily boss and then the Facebook energy as well. Yeah. So if you do all that, you know, if you have enough friends, you can collect like five, five to ten energy, or how much is it that you can collect from friends? Uh for friends, it's uh, it's five a day you can collect. You know. Five a day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, so Bushhog, we have another question for you. Uh, Alicia Peterson says. Without gold, is there any good tips to get you high into the ranks? All right, so this tip, I'm gonna throw this out so that maybe you guys can do, maybe change this up again. Back in the day, way back, when I first started playing, you would do those uh, those raid dungeons like in the troop hall, is where they are now, where you would fight against Freezer X and Freeza and all that stuff. And you would get, you almost guarantee a puzzle piece every time you would beat them. And that was really helpful for building like your first team because you would you would fight it like six times, get that super, evolve that, and eventually have a full like freezer X team. But uh, I remember that. Right now, I would say save up the energy, uh, save up some gold, do tap joy, and then try to if your team's not very strong, try to do it on either an event that you don't need a strong team like battle royale if you can get those. Uh, Event monsters, definitely that's a good one. You don't need a strong team and you can get those monsters. Um, other than that, do, do event spins. You know, uh, and you know, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is this, right? Say you get into a good troop, right? And then you and you have lots yeah, of good and you and you have lots of good hitters in there, right? I noticed that hitters don't like to farm, you know? Every troop needs farmers. So I mean, even if you don't have a lot of energy, you, the troop needs farmers. So people like People that you know needs to like farm the field battles so they can get those specials to donate to the raid boss, you know, and to activate the raid boss. Because if you don't have farmers, you can't activate the raid boss. So like, yeah. So I mean, even if you're low powered in your troop, like let's say you're like the weakest pe like person in the troop, you can still help the troop a lot as long as you're on like every, you know whenever your energy's up, you go and spend your energy, you grind out those uh, you grind out those donate specials, you grind out those donate vig sigils, you, do you grind out those like valor tokens, you know, and then you help your troop a lot. We also, we also do have that feature uh, recently added uh, where you, you can give more energy and then you get more farming items, right? From from every battle. No, you, you, you stuff. Yeah, no, but you can like you can use the energy slider and then like if you get right. lucky, you'll That's get like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah, slider. I mean, you can use the energy slider, but using the energy slider is like a gamble, right? Because like, you know, because every time you do a battle, you get like, a chance to drop like a special in like let's say a raid event, you know. But if you have it, if you have it on 10x when you do get that, you're gonna get 10 of those specials. I know that, okay. You will get 10 of those specials if you use 10x. But there's also the downside where it's like, okay, well, you're doing a battle and then you use 10x energy, but you don't get 10 of those specials. You get like 10 commons, and then you're like, man, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, the, the farming thing, trying to get into a top 50 troop, is definitely the the best way. It's not always the easiest way, like, the, the thing on the event, like, Celestial Towers, if you already have a weak team, it's really hard to beat that floor 10, and that gives you the most, uh, the most emblems, so you might want to strategize that and try to get it on an event that's a little easier, raid events, where it's just specials that you're, uh, you're farming, that's probably a great one, to try and get into a top 50 troop, and then just, uh, trades. Oh yeah, trades. Trade. Yeah, yeah. Trade. trades. True. And that's the thing about being a nice person online, you know, and meeting up your friends. You know, they'll like, you know, they'll, they'll be friendly to you. You know, like, oh man, you know what? I want to help you out. I don't really, I don't really need this. Like, I don't really need this super with this skill that's way better than your skill. So I'm gonna trade it with you. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why. I mean, like I said, you know, 
it, it's it's you guys that help the community grow. You know, it's like it's you guys that help like develop players that become your friends. You know, and then you guys win together, and it's all about. That's probably my favorite part of Battle Camp. Yeah, honestly, like oh, the man. camaraderie that you just build up with your troop is. It's what keeps you kind of playing, right? I mean, just... Holy moly, you guys did it again. You guys put so many messages, you crashed my app again. Yeah, but you guys crashed our uh, our streaming app right now. We have one more question for Bushhawk. Yeah, so um, I think his name was Britt Moore? Yeah. He said, how do you like Martine's hair? Clearly he was talking about my beard because there's <laughs> nothing up here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Martin's hair is uh, it's shiny. It looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is definitely shiny. That. It is definitely right. shiny. You it could, is. Uh, it does you shine. Could, uh, paint it green and, and work it into the green screen a little bit. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time oh, we'll wear all that, green. That's a, that's we'll a good idea. Yeah. yeah, we'll just be ghosts. Yeah. Just wear some uh, floating heads. A green beanie cap. <laughs> that would look really yeah, interesting. Next time, we'll, next time <laughs> oh, we do a yeah, live stream, no, okay. we'll, we'll just be ghosts. We'll, we'll definitely think about <laughs> it. On the, on the background, you could you could put like some avatar hair back there, something, and try to line up with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's you, a great just idea. In one position, just wow, just push on. You need to come on the show more often because that's just, good just, stuff, man. Oh man, that is good stuff. How would it follow me though? I know. Uh, I'll just have to stand really still and just have the, yeah, okay. the hair really popping still. out. I have I have a question for you, Bush Hog. I have a question. For you, how much do you bench press? Yeah, because we are into muscles first? here. Yeah, how much do you bench press? You know, this dude's in the army. I like weigh first, right? So I weigh one that's 150 pounds. Okay. Right. So the most I've ever bench pressed is 200 pounds. Oh, that's solid. That's, that's a solid. That's, that's a, that's that's a really solid, solid weight. That's a solid you know, weight. Yeah. If this... I was gonna say right, right now, so that was maybe like that was when I was in Korea. I was like six months ago. Since I got back, I have been a little bit lazy. I could probably bench 150, 160 now. So. That's still healthy, you know. They say that the healthiest thing is to be able to uh, bench press your, your own weight. weight. Yeah. So if you can do 150 and you weigh 150, you're still doing okay. Yeah, but you're doing like over yeah. 200. <laughs> yeah. I've I've never broken into oh, yeah, a 225 yeah. club. Martin has, but you know. Yeah. Oh whatever. I think my I think my yeah, max is like. 255. That's like All right, when whatever. I was really what, into uh, it. Alright, whatever, douche. Whatever, douche. We, 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 don't, we don't really need to talk about this. It's oh. not about me. It's about you, Bush Hog. Yeah, and Bush Hog, you know, someone here says, Bush Hog's got gains. <laughs> yeah. I bet this dude's cut. How did you get your uh, in game name, Bush Hog? Uh, my in game name is a, uh, it's a joke from, from a long time ago. But, it involves a bush hog, which is it's an attachment to a tractor. It's kind of like a it's like a lawnmower attachment, and it mows with like ridiculous amount of grass. You can like, run over trees or small trees with it, and just like oh man, just take everything out. So it was just my nickname for a while. So I just stuck with it. Just went with it. Okay. Yeah, you like destroying that bush, huh? <laughs> Joke. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so uh, what, yeah. what's next here, pal? No, I think uh, we're almost at that time to play Chubby Bunny. Chubby uh, Bunny. Do you, is there anything that you want to say, uh, Bush Hog, to the community before we go? Or uh, YouTube.com, Bush Hog Battle Camp. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have our battle camp guys write that in the comments. Right yeah, now, for sure. Yeah, so that people can just grab so, yeah, the link so just, right yeah, away. Yeah, they'll just grab the link and they'll see uh, they'll they'll see your name. Can you want to say that one more time? It's uh, youtube.com slash pushhog battle camp. All right, and, nice. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. I'd love to do it again in the future. If you guys are doing any more streams or anything, uh, just let me know. Everyone watching, I hope you guys had a great day. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you guys uh, get that thousand shares because I think we all want to see how with a weird haircut. No, dude, I have like yeah. a I have the most beautiful shaved head. I've. I've you know, in the Marines, know. you know, I shaved my head. I don't have any ugly moles. And even the even the oh, even the barber in boot camp was like, "Man, you have a beautiful head." <laughs> and before you go, yeah, Chad Bell here might, says, "Thank you for serving," which we all appreciate. Which we all appreciate. Have a, have a beautiful head, but you're gonna be sitting next to Martin. <laughs> two bald heads. Is Dang, that too much? That is, is there a social rule against yeah, that? I don't know. No, no, what would Vin Diesel say? Vin Diesel yeah. wouldn't. Vin Diesel would love it. Vin, Vin, he would love it. He would love it. He would love it. Yeah. You know, Vin Diesel is actually African American. You would. You wouldn't think that, but he is. Yeah. 
think you're. I love Vin Diesel. No, no, no. Uh, Bushhog, before you go, can you tell us your current team and what kind uh, of abilities team? you're using? Yeah, I think some people here want to know. Uh, yes, my current team. Hold on, let me uh pull it up real quick so I can give you guys. Uh, you know, it's like in the Fast right. and the Furious where you're like, let me see what's underneath your hood, and then you're like. Yeah. Nah, you gotta race me first, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I have three teams right now that are complete. One, I'll start at the lowest level. So I have the Rainbow Special, the Aries team for PvP. Um, and then I have a Leo Rare team for PvP. Two, two elements, one water, one fire. Uh, a Barrier, uh, vamp or Vampire, sorry. Uh, another vampire, a drain, and a and a fire pound. And then for my main team, you guys still here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're here with you. All right. Sorry. Just paying okay, attention. So for my main team, I have a legendary Molder guys. Uh, that's the second evolution, the lacerate with no plus. But if you guys want to hook me up with a plus, I. We'll <laughs> um, see what we can do. It's uh, yeah, I know. So uh, the R boost, the attack is at 94. And the other ones are above 80, and that's Rogue 9. Uh, a new beast, E Swap, Lethal 9, it's at 30 R boost for attack. And then I have three Cosmopolises, all Lacerate Plus, and uh, one's Rogue 7, and two of Rogue 6, and the Element, or the uh, Zodiac Virgo. Sick. Oh, that's pretty high. Okay, Justin Bablitz here says, I've watched all your videos, bro. Keep up the good work. Oh yeah, make so sure you have some fans yeah. out here. Yeah, you, you do have fans, fans dude. out here. Make sure you yeah. just like post your videos to the page. I'm sure people are gonna know your name. They're gonna watch your videos. Mm -hmm. All right, actually, I did forget. I have actually three more monsters for my my PVP team. My uh, so for my PVP team, for my main strong million power rating PR team, I have uh, my legendary, my newbies, and then I throw on a uh, marsh, a uh, mosh. Dang, I can't even say that. <laughs> mosh Barilla. I don't know. I probably said all kinds of wrong. It's a barrier, and then I have a sacrifice, uh, Geo and the counter protector, Shalemost. So Sweet. that's my team. Shalemost. Shalemost. Oh, yeah, Shalemost really like you those. can actually get from the uh, uh, the UI raids, right, that you were just talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, yeah, thanks, Bushhog, like for uh, calling in and hanging out with us, man. You're super cool. I really like you. And, yeah, I do. Thank and you I, so much. I'm this sure like great. a bunch of our, our players here in the community are super cool, too. So any of you guys like want to like call and hang out with us, man, totally, dude. We're, like, we do it all the time. Just make sure you guys stay uh, stay tuned to the page, you know, follow up and everything, and do what Bushhog does. Save your energy, you know, do all yeah. the deals, you know, watch all the streams. And then that. Film is yourself how you, yeah. on, on YouTube and put your, up your videos. Yeah, and then man. Maybe you'll be the next one to be here with us and you know, hanging out. And, and like Bushhawk said, man, you, just, uh, you gotta grow the community. You know, you gotta help these people out. You know, you gotta join these troops. I mean, yeah. I mean, all you guys top hitters, you know, I mean, I know you guys have great troops, you know, and uh, you guys wanna perform well for your team. But you guys just gotta remember, you know, you guys gotta grow the community so there's just more people to play with. And I know that there's lots of troops that have like sister uh, sister troops, you know, for the lower level people. So, absolutely. Yeah, man. Good absolutely. job, guys. Good job. Well, thank you so much, Bush Hog. Thanks, I'm Bush sure Hog. This won't be the last time we talk to you. You've participated with us before, so I'm sure we'll keep in touch. Thanks again for joining right, us. Yeah. yeah. All right. See ya. All right. All now, right, to the Thanks Marshmallow so Challenge. Okay. Chubby Bunny. The chubby bunny. When you know when I when I heard chubby bunny, I thought it was a sexual joke. I'm not going to lie, but um, I found out that it's about marshmallows, and I do love marshmallows. Although I must say that I told them if I die during this challenge, please send my wife a million dollars um, or a thousand gold. Oh, either wait, way, I would never let you choke, bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 Except for when you're chucking me out, man. <laughs> okay, so what? So, I don't so, know what that means. So here's the game, okay? So I'm going to stuff my mouth with as many marshmallows as I can, and I'm going to say something, okay? And then you guys are going to post onto the chat and say, Kayla, this is what I think he's saying. And then they're going to say, the, the first person who gets it right is going to win one reroll. One reroll. I are we sure that we don't yeah, want right. Martina to do this? Maybe, Mart maybe Martina should do this. Powell's got the big mouth here. And we, or we can both do this. Powell's got the big mouth. He's gonna put it to good. Do 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 we have do we have two re rolls? Do we have two re rolls? Maybe we can get. Maybe we can play this twice. Do we have oh, two re rolls? Maybe. Okay. So me and Martine will 
put the the marshmallows in our mouth at the same time and we'll both say something at the same time though so this is the new stipulation to the game we'll both say something at the same time and then you'll, you guys will have to say martin says this and pal says this so if you know whoever gets one or the other first wins if you get both tough luck you don't get nothing or you might get something maybe one thing i don't know so, it's up to them there's one phrase no, there'll be two. We can, we can say two. Uh, but, we, we can. Mean, it, you have one phrase on paper, but we could say a different phrase on another on another piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, well, on without a piece of paper. Yeah. This, is I don't know. I don't know. Know. this is the one they have to guess. Okay, that's the one that they have to guess. Okay. Here we go. This is only. This is only three. This is four. This is five. Okay. This is only three. Make sure you tell them. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think you can fit one more in there. Let me help you. Oh, that was sexy. Okay. I don't think you can speak loud enough. <laughs> there might be a little too many. Oh, this is gross. There's marshmallow in my finger. I think it's about to say it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, maybe start taking out marshmallows. Uh, I don't want to be anywhere near this one when they start coming out. Oh, he's so good. Let me say, I'm gonna stop my mouth and say it again. I'm gonna say it again. Okay, listen this time. I got it. I'm gonna throw these away though. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're gonna use the same ones. Here, put a, you can put a beer. In the magic cup that's also invisible, if you guys can tell. He was like, "No, nah, I don't want it on my face." <laughs> Alright, I'll say it again. Okay. Yeah, as soon as the mouth, is, I'm gonna only put four this time. Yeah. Uh, 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 what uh, It's like when you're at the dentist. Can you guys still help me? Okay. Okay. Can you guys still help me? Pow is saying, okay. "I think I'm choking." Okay. <laughs> so that's yeah. what the comments are saying. Okay. Here is the word. Okay. New update coming! New update coming! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Did someone get that? Yeah, we got a winner. Oh, well, we, we got, got a winner! Winner! winner. Awesome. I'm sorry, Azadeen. I was not saying I was choking, although my wife must have been hoping I was choking. She's like, <laughs> die! Die! I want the million dollars! Prenup! Prenup! Oh, this is a new update coming. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Phrase is new that's update right. coming. So I think, I think he got a little too over eager to fill his mouth. Uh, and that's why. Yeah, we had to redo yeah, it. Yeah. It worked out in it the end. Out. It worked out in the end. You no, know, Martin was too eager to stuff his fingers down my throat. But you guys like that? I, I felt, I felt, I felt weird. It was felt weird. Baby, I'm not cheating on you. <laughs> <laughs> we went there. We went there. Okay. All right. Oh man. So hey, congratulations. Uh, do we have a winner? Yeah, Kurt Dursing. Kurt Dursing, you are the winner for guessing correctly what was in my mouth. So um, yeah, we're gonna get your information. We're gonna send you the. Uh, we're gonna send you the reroll. Good luck. Spin it. I hope you get something great. Get your nasty ass fingers off me. He's just sad. <laughs> Are you mad that he didn't get to eat any marshmallows? I mean, he just... Yeah, I'm jealous. Oh I'm, I'm very upset at this point. Well, anyways, thanks for staying tuned, much. guys. Yeah, um, thank you guys so much. There's like a ton to come up, you know? Yeah, we hope you guys had fun. Bushog, huge shout out to this guy oh, yeah, for so coming cool. in here. So cool. Sharing his inside, his teams, like, you know, all his uh, strategies and stuff. It was awesome to have him on the show. Oh, man, he was like, you old-timers talk about these old skills. It's all about those... It's all about those, like, you know, new skills. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. I'm, I am old. I am old. Yeah. You guys, so, you guys saw it yourself. The dude did massive damage yeah. with all the new 66 skills. 66 million. Holy moly. I, Holy I dare moly. you guys to break the leaderboard. I, I dare you. 
All right, so the code, guys, is BushHog101, okay? BushHog101. Yep. We yeah. totally made the 300 shares, you know? Thank you guys so much for sharing this, watching the show, and there's, more, like, a ton more to come. I think we have... Yeah. We have some more stuff coming yeah. up. So you guys, I, guys I'll be away you. next time, so I hope you guys miss me. But there should be a replacement. Coming oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pick maybe. the hottest girl in the office, so don't worry, guys. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have the hot... Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously no one compares to my oh, team. Actually, guys. I do All have right. a fun fact. That epic that you guys won was actually made by Ven, who was the, our guest artist the other day oh, for the mural. Oh, maybe I should bring back yeah, Ven. I think really you guys cool. like Ven. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, really yeah. cool. Maybe Ven should be in it. Yeah. We'll have, we have a bunch of other people that we can bring in, but yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming in. Anything else you want to plug? No. Nah, peace! Well, Coliseum starts tomorrow. Oh, Coliseum so sure does to start that. tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Play Coliseum. Yeah. Get those rewards. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, think, I think we're good. So the code is BushHog101 for those who didn't catch it. Peace. BushHog101. And make sure you put it before 624. You know, and if you guys have any cool ass videos that you guys like, like, you know, like you guys have like super high hit. I mean, my highest combo was 17, okay? And I want to see like some those high combos. You see those? Save those videos. Share them with us. We love it. We will talk about it. Yeah. We will put you guys up. Make your YouTube channels of uh -huh. you guys playing the game, hitting the bosses, you know, running through the progression of the campaign and everything. We want to see you guys play the game. Yeah, we want to see you guys grow. We love y'all. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, guys.